To write the Lewis structure for SrCl2, strontium chloride, let's write Sr in the center, and then we'll put chlorine on either side. Strontium, that's a metal, and then chlorine, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal bonded to nonmetals. That gives us an ionic compound, and the valence electrons will be transferred in an ionic compound. So we have strontium, which is in group two on the periodic table, so it has two valence electrons. And then chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. So we said strontium, that's the metal, is going to transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So one goes here, and that completes the octet on this chlorine atom. And the other one goes with this chlorine and completes its octet. So the strontium, it's lost to valence electrons. Electrons are negative, they have a negative charge, so it's lost a negative two. That makes it a two plus. The chlorines, they've gained those negative charges. So we have a negative here on this chlorine, and this chlorine's negative as well. Plus two and the minus two, so they all add up to zero, and that makes sense. This is a neutral compound. So this positive here and these negatives, they're attracted, and that's what forms the ionic bond in SrCl2. We should put brackets around the chlorine atoms. And you'll sometimes see brackets around the positive ion. We need the brackets to show that this is an ionic compound and that the valence electrons from strontium, they were transferred to the chlorine. So the strontium lost those electrons, those valence electrons, and the chlorine atoms, they gained them. We're not sharing valence electrons like we would in a covalent compound. So that's it. This is the Lewis structure for SRCl2, strontium chloride. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.